When servicing a vehicle, it's important to take note of manufacturer-specific components in order to service the car safely and correctly. Today we'll be going over CDJR OEM-specific features to help you understand the differences from vehicle to vehicle. So some OEM-specific features that are kind of unique, and some of them are definitely unique, and they're the only ones who do this. Uh, one of the big ones when it comes to ignition testing, which we're going to talk to here, talk about here in a few weeks, just ignition testing uh, on modern systems. Uh, Hemi ignition co coils. So they have unique ignition coils that they use inside their Hemi uh, engines. Now I say Hemi because it's not really truly on a true hemispherical um, combustion chamber. You would have the one plug in the middle and it would all, it, it all kind of congregates on that. But that's not what they do. They do two. Uh, that fire, one is a main... Your, your main firing for that cylinder and the other one's a waste spark that fires on, on the exhaust stroke of that cylinder. So it's in there and these are very difficult to test under standard means that you would normally test the coil. And it's going to say in here, right here. So you can measure resistance, um, but on the 5.7, the 6.2, and the 6.4, which are all your hemispherical engines and it has that weird coil, not directly measurable due to a diode in the circuit. So they have a diode in the circuit for secondary. Primary you can measure, but on the secondary you cannot because it has a diode, not directly anyways. And also you cannot test it directly with uh, like coil on plug adapters or anything like that because of the circuitry that's within that coil. Uh, so non-traditional means need to be used. What some I've seen some people do is they'll just pull up, pull out the coil and then they'll run a plug wire off the coil down to the plug, and then they test it that way. You can test the secondary by putting an inductive clamp around that. So it's a little different. And it's the first time I've ever seen one where it you know, has the double double firing on there with those. And they've been around for a long time, but it's just, uh, just something to note that you cannot test them by traditional means. Uh, you know, I get a question maybe once or twice a month, like, hey, why can't I test this coil using coil on plug adapters? That's why because it's got all that electronics inside. It won't detect it. It won't pick up on the secondary. And also unique to them, not necessarily unique in the industry overall, but we're seeing a lot more of this, is their e-torque system. So their e-torque system runs off 48 volts, and this is a motor generator, starter motor generator, actually. So the see this big belt. It's almost like a, uh, a supercharger belt, all right? Big fat belt. And it's got this motor generator unit here, and it's got all the electronic pack right on top of it. This is on a, uh, I think this one's on the 3.6, and the Hemi's on the other way. Let's see, and I got a picture right here. Now, the Hemi's on the front, so that was a Hemi. Then the 3.6 is mounted backwards, so that's actually closer to the radiator in the front of the vehicle. Uh, so it's mounted backwards. But what it does is the e-torque system automatically stops and starts the engine when certain conditions are met to improve fuel economy and lower CO2 emissions. E-torque enable and disable selection switches integral with the transmission shift. So it's a little button on the shift. Battery starting and charging systems operate in conjunction with one another and must be tested as a complete system. So remember that if you're testing one of the, a vehicle with one of these, because this could be on a 3.6 or on a Hemi, especially on the 1500s. For correct operation of starting charging systems, all components used in these three systems must perform on the specifications. When attempting to diagnose any of these systems, it's important that you keep their interdependency in mind. So you need to remember that. Certain starting system components and functions of the eTorque system are on onboard diagnostic monitored and will produce DTCs. The use of a diagnostic scan tool, I just hit that button by accident. Use of a diagnostic scan tool is not only recommended, but it is necessary for proper diagnostics of the eTorque system and the components or sy systems that are related to the eTorque system functions. Review the component and system information listed below in operations section for diagnostic information. Otherwise, review the wiring diagrams as well as section 28 DTCs. E-Torque system uses a high-torque electric 48-volt motor to function as a starter for electric stop-start. That's that. Looks like a massive alternator. The E-Torque system, when active, will shut the engine off with a signal from the PCM when the vehicle is stopped, then start the engine when there's demand for power. The E-Torque system utilizes its own contained cooling system as well. For more information, please refer to Power Electric. All right, so here's your basic gist of what we got. So we got the power unit, which is in the back, and that's a 48-volt battery. We got the wiring harness, which is your bright orange uh, wiring harness, which it doesn't have to be, but it is. And then the motor generator unit here in the front. So you can see that it's got that massive, looks like an alternator, but it is actually a generator and starter motor all in one. So it's the generator to charge the 48 volt battery. 
when we're driving. And then when we need to start the vehicle, it runs it in reverse. And then it becomes your starter and actually torques the motor over using that big fat belt. So that's how that works in, in a nutshell. We get we have other classes that delve more deeply into this. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but that's just kind of your high level over. You learned everything you need to know about what makes CDJR vehicles unique. In the next episode in this series, we'll dive into professional insider tips when working on CDJR cars.